real cases before a real judge. Plaintiff Simone Bullard and her brother Jordan Knox say Simone started dating the defendant when she was a stripper, but their relationship became toxic. Simone claims the defendant was abusive and once pulled a gun on her, and she's suing him for a down payment on a car and a car payment. Defendant Reginald Frederick insists he never laid a finger on Simone, nor did he ever pull a gun on her. Reginald denies owing Simone for anything, and he's countersuing for a down payment on a car, insurance, and car payments. Start with you. I met Reggie back in 2017. Um, at the time, I was an exotic dancer at a local strip club, and he used to be a customer. I came in there probably about every week, and after a while, we started dating, started talking more, and it went good for a few, probably like a few months until he started showing his dark side. We got into a few altercations. Um, How long after dating did you get into altercations? Probably like two months. Two months after you started? All right, what type of things uh, were you all falling out about? Well, no, at the time I was a dancer, so we were just back and forth about little things, about me talking to different guys or him talking to different girls. And he didn't know that's what happens when you're a stripper. <laughs> You, you didn't understand the concept. I understood everything. You know. Oh, okay. Because she said you were giving her a hard time about talking and meeting with other guys, the things required to make her living. That wasn't okay. it, though. All right. Yeah. yeah. Um, after a while, the a lot of guys, they exotic dancers, and they don't know that. <laughs> it's part of it. They think that the girls, their ladies who are exotic dancers never look the guy in the eye. <laughs> they think that he, they don't sit on the guy and wiggle. Yeah. They think that, they think, they know everybody else does. <laughs> Not my woman. <laughs> yeah. She right. don't get lap dances. Yeah. She don't look a guy in the eye. She don't sit there and talk to him about his personal business. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, she don't give him the impression that if he just keep coming, bringing money, that it might be something else. It might lead to a relationship. Yeah. Oh, no. Everybody else does it? <laughs> Not my girl. Not my girl. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Defendant Reginald Frederick is being sued by his ex-girlfriend, who claims Reginald threatened her with a gun. Go ahead, ma'am. So you all were falling out because he didn't like your way, your lifestyle suddenly. Mm -hmm. But um, those altercations became physical. Um, there's been times where he choked me out. Um, did you ever go to the police on him? I did. I went to, it was a time after an altercation where we had gotten to an argument and I was really loud and he pointed a gun in my face telling me to shut up. Oh. And I called the police. I left and I called the police and I guess since I fled the scene, they claimed they couldn't do anything about it, but honestly, I think they just didn't want to do any paperwork Did on the situation. Did you try and follow up and go to the precinct on your own later? No. And I know you might not have. You all were probably back together by then. They didn't no. at least have him removed from the household or stay away we for 72 hours? Pardon? We were at his friend's house when that altercation happened. Okay. But in terms of your relationship in general, did they... No, we were done after that. We were okay. done. Yeah, we lost Good. touch. I mean, All he right. ended up going to jail, getting How locked up. How long ago was that? Um, that was in mid-2018. 17, you said? Beginning of 2018, actually. Okay. Because we met end of 2017. All right. Sir, what do you want to say about this? Pretty much that was a lot. Like, we was never done. Like, she, I had two cars. She was coming using one of my cars while I was driving the truck while she take care of and had a business with the kids and stuff like that. I never put no gun out on her or nothing like that because I was so only, I was really like, you didn't I really liked her, her so it wasn't, I wasn't trying to hurt her in no well, type of way at all. Kids, you didn't know? move on. You did not uh, get a record of it. You didn't follow up and go to the precinct. No, you should have known he was going to deny it. I don't know what you thought. So the only way you can keep a record of him doing such a thing is to file for an assault. All right. So he denies it. And unless you have any independent evidence, of course, I don't he's know. Gonna deny it, of course. Pardon me? Of course, he's gonna deny it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. His rap sheet will tell it all. Yeah, what type of convictions? Any for domestic a lot. violence? He already, when after we were done with each other, he had. You street guy? He used to be. No. Oh, God, I don't believe street guys ain't punk enough to pull no gun on their woman. 
That ain't what street guys do. Those lames do that. Lames with a gun, pull a gun on their woman, it's but not real street guys, not real ones. No, them the fake ones. Uh -huh. So no, y'all don't believe he did that. Okay. He ain't no wankster. I believe if he gun play and all that, he's a real gangster, not a wankster, right? Not a rapper in the studio to just rap about it either. Okay. So I don't believe he pulled that gun in your face. Okay. All right. So let's get to the money. 1744. In May 2022, I had got my tax money and I wanted to go get a car. He knew a cousin that worked at a dealership and we went to Belleville, Illinois to go pick, well, purchase a car. I put my half towards, he put his half towards when we purchased the car. Probably like not even a month after we bought the car, um, we were having altercations about who was putting enough gas in it and who was doing this and who was doing enough for a car and this, this, and then third. What was the agreement on payments? Um, I had 1500 he had 1500 Half and half? Mm -hmm. Payments were $3,000 a month? No, not the payments, the down payment, actually. That was the down payment. Okay, 1500 each. And wasn't there payments to be made down the line? Yes. How much was that going to be for each mm, person? 244 What happened to the car? We got into an altercation, and I went to a family's house, basically. And they were telling me about him still messing with a girl. And when I got home, I confronted him about it. And when I was talking to him about it, conversation led from the girl to, you don't do enough for the car. Then after that, we got into a little altercation. He just started getting loud with me and stuff like that, and then he ended up pulling his gun out and then sitting on the bed, just like literally like walking back and forth, like rocking back and forth, like pacing, like, I don't know what he was doing, but I ended up taking the key and going to a local gas station down the street because I didn't, I already know from his past behavior, I didn't want to be involved with it. Why'd you go over there? And if you knew from his past? I didn't know he was going to do when you it. confront somebody, that's what they do. Yeah, but I didn't expect it to be an altercation. Like, Mike, like I, I said. I understand. Next time, do. If a guy has pulled a gun on you and put it to your face before, if you go and confront him, it might be that he'll pull that gun in your face again. And this time, what'd he do? He pulled that gun out again. That's all the reason I'm saying that. What happened with the gun? Um, I took it back to the dealership the next day. And I had my brother with they me. They accepted it? They didn't want to do anything about it. When right. I called them and I told them about the car, me dropping it mm -hmm. off for him to pick up, they were just like, we can't do anything about it. You didn't that. notice you can't just randomly go and return a car that you financed? Well, it was originally for him to go pick it up. That's all. I didn't want to go back to his house, so I just drove it back to the dealership for him to go pick oh, it up. Oh, so you didn't try and return it to the dealer? No, no. I just took it there to... Why did you take it there like, instead of a gas station or something? I don't know. I, I don't know. Check. I do know. You were trying to take it back, ma'am. It's the only way you would go out your way to find a dealership to give it to them. Did you give them the keys? No. I what left happened it in to the, the car. keys? I left it in the car. Defendant Reginald Frederick is being sued by his ex-girlfriend, who claims Reginald threatened her with a gun. Where's the car now? The car was at the dealership for him to pick up. I sent him text messages saying that- You sent that, who text messages? Him, Reginald. Saying what? That I was dropping the car off at the dealership uh -huh. for him to go pick it up. I got it. What happened to the car? It's there. It was there. I left it there Was for him there? To go pick it's it still up. there? I don't know if he hasn't got okay. it by now. He's claiming All that right. I still got You're it. You're responsible. You had control of the car and you just abandoned it with the keys in it. Let me hear from you, sir. Yeah, as he was saying, we ended up going in half on the car. As a brother, it was two forty-four for the half of the insurance and two forty-four for the car note as well. So we both made agreement to go half on it, and then basically we was making it seem like this is gonna be a long term for us doing this, you know, together. So then she got mad, feel some type of way now. But I honestly, I think she basically ever since we got this car, she just been acting funny, like off the bat like she want to always get in always want to drive always want to go places and i'm like man if you ain't making no money trying to better us and get us up out my sister house and get another our own crib what's the point of you trying to just taking the car like all you do want to do is just drive 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 while i'm working like 
I was Come picking on, my kids up. Half I had to get my kids. You had a problem with me going to pick up my kids. Please be quiet. Go ahead, sir. So tell me about her taking the car, leaving it, all the things that she said. What happened? Okay, with the car? so altercation happened. I had the keys. I just dropped my daughter off. So she was like, I'm like, all right. So we talked about it. I'm like, man, I'm finna go get some cigarettes. She said, let me go. I said, cool. So she got to pull them on. I'm like, come on, you ain't gotta do all that. I I give you the key. Like, what are you so desperate to get the key for? What is what like to my knowledge, she had something else in in mind. So I went ahead and gave her the key. So when I gave her the key, that's when I got the text message. As you can see, what's that page? I want to say four. Oh, I'll bring your car back when you get your act together. Oh. Like, where is it at, sir? Page four. Matter of fact, when you get your act together, I'll come back. And I didn't do nothing. Oh, yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. I uh, dare you come with some BS, and I'll show you how much of a victim I can play. See, type acting like that for what? That's what you're doing today, playing the victim role. No wonder you didn't go to the police. See, type acting like that for what? Mm -hmm. He's still not confrontational, still trying to be uh, civil. And we'll laugh out loud, see who takes threats lightly. That's you threatening now. Okay, you're doing all this for what? This is him talking. Everything about him is what a decent guy should be saying. You steady running your mouth about you turn up on me. Steady running your mouth about what I don't pay. Boom, now we got something else there. You don't pay. And honestly, I don't need you to pay S for this car. I got the money to pay all of this. Well, I hope so. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. What's your counterclaim for, sir? Uh, 3948 What happened? What is it based on? Oh, uh, based on the down payment, the car insurance, the $500 that we had to pay for us to even drive off the lot, and me constantly paying the car payments since I don't have the car, so I'm steady paying the monthly car payments by the myself. The only way you would be excused from liability is if there was negligence involved and that person who committed the negligence had to pay. Otherwise, it's both your car. Something happened to it, you both suffered damage. But if one of you were negligent and caused it, then the other one shouldn't suffer damage. And she admittedly took the car and dropped it off with the key. And as a result, it's gone. So that's why your claim is dismissed. You're liable for everything that happened, and your claim is granted. Have a good day. Don't get so upset to lose your car over a woman. Have a good day. Thank you, Ron. Man, I wish you the best, man. I, all I wanted was the best for you. Like, for real, I never wanted to bring you down or hurt you in any kind of way. You know that, like, I'm... Apart, but hey, life goes on. I don't got nothing to say. It is what it is. <laughs>